Hey guys, how's it going today? I'm in Tokyo. I'm just outside of Asakusa Station and I'm here with Kim Dao. Hi Kim, Hi. welcome back to Japan. Thank you. So good to have you back. I'm back. Yeah, I'm back. she's back. back. She's a little sleepy. I'm very sleepy. Today we are going to try on kimonos somewhere around here and you've been here before, right? Yeah, I've been here before. It's my second time to go to this kimono place. Oh, yeah. so nice. I'm excited. Yeah. We're going to dress up and we're going to walk around um, Asakusa and see what it's like to, you know, be tourists in Tokyo for a day. This is actually really fun and I do feel like a tourist every time I come to Tokyo because I never spend a lot of time here and when I do, I'm usually just going from like point A to point B or like meeting people that I'm supposed to meet and I don't really get to explore or hang out. So it's really exciting that like we get to go to tourist spots like this today. Okay, this is the Sensoji. Sensoji? Well, this is like the start of it, isn't it? The Sensoji is actually down there. Oh, cool. Like another five minutes. Ah. The temple's down there. interesting because the temple itself looks very Japanese but if you look at all the tourists around like everyone's speaking different languages everybody's from all over the world and it actually feels very international very global it doesn't feel that much like Japan to me here to be honest I don't know if you know this but next year is actually year of the dog Japan's signature dog is a Shiba, well, a Shiba, a Kai, an Akita, Ken, the Japanese breed, which looks like this, which also incidentally looks like the dog that I have at home. So I feel like this year we're gonna be buying a lot of Year of the Dog memorial ornaments to put in our house. Cause they all look like Kit, is what I'm trying to say. You know, you know, kind of. <laughs> Kim's like, yes, yes, I know. Are you cold? What'd you get? Oh, so warm. I just got some coffee. Pro tip: if you're ever so cold, cold, these make excellent hand warmers. <laughs> it's only 100 yen, and it's only 100 yen. And you can drink it if yeah. you want. Yeah, I will drink it later. Yeah, I want to hold it. <laughs> you're so cute. So we're turning on to a street called Orange Street, which is very orange, and I'm not sure why. Place, right? Yeah, place. Yay. Oh, that was really easy to find. Oh, hi, nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Michaela. <laughs> Sorry, my hands are very cold. Yeah. Oh, wow. I haven't been in a place like this in such a long time, and you can see they have so many different types of fabric and patterns, and I can't wait to pick one out to wear. I really like bolder colors and bolder patterns like as opposed to like pastels I think pastels are super pretty though if they look good on you I just don't feel like they look good on me this is this is cute though it's cute but it's a little like summery this is cute that's kind of like a warm purple so my hair is really really flat today and then because it's cold like it was super staticky and gross when I walked in but thankfully um, here they do hair, they do all the like updos and stuff for you so uh, I kind of walked in here feeling frumpy and weird but I think once I get my kimono on and I get my hair fixed up it's gonna look really nice. We've got these tabby socks on and then leg warmers because it's winter and it would be pretty cold without them. Inside my clothes we have tons of towels and like padding, extra padding to like fill out the parts of my body that are not straight, if that makes any sense. Alright guys, now it's time to choose the OB, which is the big fabric that will go around the waist. And usually this is an impact piece. Like we want it to look bright and bold and have a big impact on the final look. I think I'm very partial to this gold. Maybe gold ni shoka, yappari. So I've been speaking Japanese mostly, but actually the two ladies helping me with my kimono today have been studying in Canada. So I think they can speak English pretty well. How was Canada? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. 
You love it? Yeah. Like the summer is really good. Yeah. Mm. Uh, it's very really comfortable. Yeah. It's not too hot, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Anything else? Chicken wings. <laughs> <laughs> chicken wings in Canada are great. I think hot too hot. We love too hot. Yeah. The donuts are good too. Yeah. Very very sweet so though, right? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Tim Hortons. <laughs> Tim Hortons and chicken. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's hilarious. The bow is so cute at the back. Uh, <laughs> you look like like royalty. <laughs> This one, please. Okay, sure. Thank you. I think it's good. If someone else is doing my hair, then it's good to have them do something that I could never do myself. So we are all dressed up, we're ready to go. I'm feeling so fancy right now. So normally once you're dressed up, you can go walk around Asakusa, you can go check out the, the shrine, the one that we just passed. I was just talking to Kim and she said she's never been on a rickshaw. And I think that's one of the things that we should do since we're here and that's such a thing here. It's super touristy and we're looking at this poster and it says that they do rickshaw rides if you ask, they'll call and they'll reserve for you and you get a special price. So I think it's like the perfect opportunity. Yeah, I've never done it before. First time for everything. Hi. Hello. You're here to pick me up? Yes. Awesome! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> yeah! Endo is. Endo san, Hi, yes, my nickname is Jumbo. Uh, Jumbo. 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 Jumbo? Oh, yes. it's not a name. Why? Please call me Ano. The secret. The secret? <laughs> Next time I will tell you. Okay, <laughs> okay Jumbo, where are we going today? Uh, we are going to all downtown area and then finish point is uh, at Sensoji Temple. Sensoji Temple! Yes. All right! Yes. Enjoy. <laughs> I will. Thank you. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. So we just picked up some fried monja um, upon recommendation from our rickshaw uh, driver. Inside is like monjayaki, but the outside is fried like koroke. I've got cheese and Kim's got plain, plain. and it looks so good. It's so cold outside, so it's nice to have something warm in your hands to eat. Koicha, like really thick, um, really thick, rich matcha ice cream. Yeah, you got some cornflakes, let's try it. Oh yeah, get it. How is it? That's good. It's, it's actually, you can taste the matcha, but it's pretty sweet. Yeah. But it's not too sweet, so like you can eat a lot of it. Yeah, because normally matcha is pretty bitter, hey? Yeah, if it's too sweet, I can't eat a lot. Yeah. But this is actually ah. fun experience and a really cool touristy way to enjoy Tokyo. If you're not visiting Tokyo for very long and you want like a full immersive Japanese experience, this is actually a really good yeah. way to experience the culture. And it's something that like even residents like anyone can do it. Yeah, like yeah. anyone can try. Like you see lots of Japanese people trying it out as well. So for the prices, the address, all that good information, you're going to want to check out the website which is right here. And uh, make sure you tell them that Kim and Michaela sent you. Yay! Yeah. yeah! So we're gonna walk around the <laughs> temple and see what we can see yeah. and we'll talk to you again later. <laughs> <laughs>